Hi, in this video I will be presenting you with 13 idiomatic English phrases used in daily conversation. You will also be learning how to use these English phrases in sentences. These are English phrases to help you learn English fast. Learning English expressions for daily use will also help you in your daily conversations. So, the aim of this video is to provide you with a list of the most common English phrases for daily use. These are helpful materials in the form of English phrases used in daily conversation to help the learner improve their knowledge of the English language. So here is a list of English phrases to help you learn English fast. Before we go into the list, please click on the red subscribe button below this video to subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified as soon as another video has been uploaded. That way you won't miss any of our videos. Let's guess, get into the list. English phrases used in daily conversation. Accidentally on purpose. What does that mean? Here's an illustration. You did something that was intentional. You really meant to do it. But then you pretend that it was an honest accident. This means you did it accidentally on purpose. Here's an example sentence. I've never liked these glass dishes. I just might accidentally on purpose drop them on the floor one day. Here's another. I accidentally on purpose deleted John's number from my contact list so I couldn't call him again. Not having John's phone number in your, in your contact list could be used an, as an example for not calling John. Add fuel to the flames. Add fuel to the flames. What does it mean to add fuel to the flames? That's when you do or say something that causes a bad situation to get even worse. Here's an illustration. The man's wife was already upset when her husband said something which made her furious. The man's wife was already upset when her husband said something which made her furious. He added fuel to the flame. Here's an example sentence. His wife was already mad at him for forgetting their wedding anniversary. He add fuel to the flames when he mentioned that she was getting fat. There was already a flame in forgetting the anniversary and the fuel added was calling her fat. Those are great English phrases for everyday use. Here's another. All ears. All ears. What does it mean to be all ears? If you refer to yourself as being all ears, that means that you are a great listener. You are listening very attentively. Nothing is distracting you from what is being said. All ears is also be interpreted as waiting eagerly to hear about something. Waiting eagerly to hear about something. Here's an example sentence. I was all ears while listening to the preacher's sermon. I was all ears while listening to the preacher's sermon. I was listening attentively. I was not being distracted. I was all ears while listening to the preacher's sermon. Here's another. Please tell me what happened next. I'm all ears. Please tell me what happened next. I'm listening. I'm waiting. I'm all ears. Here's a few more English phrases used in daily conversation. Answer the call of nature. 
answer the call of nature, which is the same as answer nature's call. What does that mean? That's when a person goes to use the toilet or the restroom. They have a desire to go to use the toilet or the restroom. They need to go. In going, they answer the call of nature. It's quite natural to want to pee or to poo. So whenever nature calls, you got to answer. Here's an example sentence. Sally awoke from sleep and rushed to the bathroom in the middle of the night to answer the call of nature. Sally awoke from sleep and rushed to the bathroom in the middle of the night to answer the call of nature. Sally wanted to pee or Sally wanted to poo, so she rushed to the bathroom in the middle of the night answering the call of nature. Keep watching because we have a few more English phrases to help you learn English fast. Backseat driver. Backseat driver. A backseat driver is a passenger in a car who keeps giving unwanted advice to the driver. Have you ever been the one driving and your passenger is telling you how to drive? That passenger is called a backseat driver. Here's an example sentence. I can't stand backseat drivers. They are always trying to tell me how to drive. I can't stand backseat drivers. They are always trying to tell me how to drive. Badger someone. Badger someone. What does that mean to badger someone? To badger someone is when you pester them or persistently nag them until you get them to do what you want for them to do. Here's an example sentence. Don't badger me because I won't buy you that cell phone. Here's another. Simone badgered her parents into buying her a new cell phone. Balancing act. Balancing act. Balancing act refers to someone who tries to give their attention to more than one activity at the same time. It's a person who tries to please more than one person at the same time. In the process of trying to do two tasks at the same time, they are performing what is considered a balancing act. Here's an example sentence. It seems like my sister always has to perform a balancing act between work, school, and her family. It seems like my sister always has to perform a balancing act between work, school, and her family. So here she's actually doing th three things at the same time. She's attending to her work, her school, and her family. So she's performing a balancing act. These are common English phrases used in daily conversation. Remember to subscribe. Here's another English phrase. Bear your heart and soul. Bear your heart and soul. What does it mean to bear your heart and soul? When you bear your heart and soul to someone, you open up and reveal all of your innermost thoughts and feelings to that person. It's to tell someone all of your hidden thoughts and secrets without holding back. Here's an example sentence. Never bear your heart and soul to someone you hardly know. Here's another. My brother decided to bear his heart and soul to a girl he just met. Another of our many English phrases for everyday use is barking up the wrong tree or to bark up the wrong tree. Barking up the wrong tree refers to a person who even though they are mistaken, they still pursue their belief. It's that person who thinks that they are smart and you are dumb. 
they think they can get the best of you but they are barking up the wrong tree here's an example sentence the police are barking up the wrong tree if they think I stole the car guess what I don't even know how to drive here's another Sammy might just bark up the wrong tree if he thinks he can fool his old grandmother beat a hasty retreat beat a hasty retreat this is an American expression that refers to someone who runs away in a hurry to quickly leave the scene to avoid an unpleasant situation here's an example sentence the thieves beat a hasty retreat as soon as they saw the security guards the thieves beat a hasty retreat they ran off they quickly left they bolted as soon as they heard the police coming they ran off they quickly left they bolted that's what it means beating a hasty retreat they ran off they quickly left they bolted as soon as they heard the police coming they beat a hasty retreat these are common English phrases to help you learn English fast Please remember to click the red subscribe button below this video to subscribe to this channel. Your best bet. Your best bet. This points to an action which if taken is most likely to succeed. This is referred to as one's best bet. Here's an illustration. The person with high blood pressure their best bet is to lose some weight. Losing some weight is an action if taken will help the person to have a normal blood pressure. I'll read that one more time. The person with high blood pressure, their best bet is to lose some weight. Losing some weight is an action if taken will help the person to have a normal blood pressure. Here's an example sentence. If you want to have a normal blood pressure reading, losing some weight along with diet and exercise will be your best bet. We could use my best bet in this example sentence also. If I want to have a normal blood pressure reading, losing some weight along with diet and exercise will be my best bet. We could also use his best bet in the sentence. If he want to have a normal blood pressure reading, losing some weight along with diet and exercise will be his best bet. Here are two more English idioms with meaning and examples. Bide your time. Bide your time. This refers to a person who is patient and not hasty. A person who is not rushing to take action. To bide your time is to wait patiently for the right opportunity to take action. The right time to strike. Think about a crocodile at the edge of the water waiting patiently, biding its time for the right moment to strike at the unsuspecting animals drinking at the water hole. Here's an example sentence. The crocodile wanted to grab the monkey at the watering hole, but it was under the water biding its time, waiting patiently for the right opportunity to strike. Here's another. What they did to Lisa was wrong, and she planned her revenge. Bide your time, Lisa, she told herself. Patiently wait for the right moment to strike. The last of our 13 English phrases used in everyday conversation is binge drinking. This English expression refers to heavy drinking. This is where large quantities of alcohol are consumed in a very short space of time 
and I must add, those who drink, please do so responsibly. Here's an example sentence or example sentences. Binge drinking is quickly becoming a major problem among teenagers. Remember, the, bin, the, the phrase binge drinking refers to consuming a lot of alcohol in a short space. So this is actually saying that consuming a lot of alcohol in a short space of time is quickly becoming a major problem among teenagers. Johnny still has a hangover from last night. He and, his bud, he and his buddies stay up all night binge drinking. He and his buddies stayed up all night consuming lots of alcohol in a short space of time. Okay guys, you've just learned 13 English phrases to help you learn English fast. Keep watching this video over and over and over and over until you've memorized these English phrases. It's very important for you to memorize these idioms, these English phrases, because they will play a great role in your English conversation. We'll be making more videos with a lot more English phrases to improve your English speaking. So please click on the red subscribe button below this video to subscribe to this channel so that you can have access to all of these other videos. We're going to be making a lot of more, lot, lot of, lot of other videos with um, common English phrases which are being used in everyday English conversations. And we're also going to be making videos with um, a list of words which are used every day in the English language. So please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. That way you will not miss any of our videos. And please support this channel by clicking on the thumbs up button and giving us a like. So that's it guys. 13 English phrases to help you learn English fast. Stay safe.